So in this video, we have a ball of mass 0.5 kilos is moving with velocity 10i plus 24j meters per second when it is struck by a bat. Immediately after the impact, it is moving with velocity 20i meters per second. Find part A, the magnitude of the impulse of the bat on the ball. So for part A, the impulse in, is the change in momentum. Okay, so it is moving with this velocity initially, and it finishes up with this velocity. So we have m times v, so 20i, then take away m times by 10i plus 24j. Okay, so we have uh, 0 0.5 times 20, take away 0 0.5 times 10. Okay, so 5i, and then uh, take away 0 0.5 times 24, so take away 12j. Okay, so that's Newton seconds. And uh, we are looking for the magnitude of the impulse. So the magnitude of 5i take away 12j is equal to the square root of 5 squared plus minus 12 squared square rooted. So that's a Pythagorean triple, I believe. So that's 13 Newton seconds. OK, part B. The size of the angle between the vector i and the impulse exerted by the bat on the ball. So the vector i is just 1 in the horizontal direction. And then we've got 5i minus 12j, so 5 along and 12 down. Okay, So essentially we are looking for this angle here. Um, we are going 5 along and 12 down. So this is my angle. So the angle is the arctan of uh, opposite over adjacent. So the inverse tan of 12 over 5 is 67.4 degrees to three significant figures. So part C, the kinetic energy lost by the ball in the impact. So um, the kinetic energy formula is 1 half mv squared. So I'm going to need these speeds for this. So we need the initial speed, uh, which is going to be equal to, uh, so the length of that vector, so the square root of 10 squared plus 24 squared. So 10 squared plus 24 squared. Uh, square root of that is 26. So that's 26 meters per second. And the final speed is going to be the square root of, well, it's just the length of that one. So it's 20 squared plus 0 squared. Of course, it's, that's going to be 20 meters per second. So the kinetic energy lost is going to be the kinetic energy initially take away the kinetic energy final. So kinetic energy lost is going to be equal to 1 half times m, so 0.5, times by v squared, take away 1 half times 0 0.5 times 20 squared. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times, and then 26 squared, take away 20 squared. So a quick bit of factorising there, and we should get 69. Um, and so that is uh, joules. Okay.